what is up asgard fam hey guys welcome back to the channel and it's your girl phoebe and today i am finally reviewing quasar for you guys i have been waiting for so long to get her review to you but i have been a little bit busy now if you're wondering why the heck isn't she at tier 2 already then let me tell you i'm about to reach that and i could have delayed this review further but i decided not to do that before i review her because she's already so good in the characters that you get from the buy subscription pack that she has to be shown at tier 1 because this is a really really honest review she is amazing i'd place her at probably third number in the buy subscription characters and you know the first spot is obviously obviously taken by miguel that is spidey 2099 and the second spot by enchantress because of her lovely charm so the third spot definitely goes to my girl here quasar Okay, now let me get talking about her skills. She's got four physical attacks, but please make sure, guys, you know, that she's not a physical attacking character. I, you know, I actually messed this up the first time I was playing with her. The first time I built her up, I just didn't look at the fact that in her stats, it says energy attack. Whereas her attacks, you know, um, the skills that she has, they say that they are physical. But if you notice properly, then they are physical attack of a percentage of an energy attack. So in other terms, she's just an energy attacking character. Starting with her skill set, we will start with skill number one. Skill numero uno. This does not have a single iframe, but this is definitely a really, really good skill for saving yourself. And I will tell you that in a minute why. Coming over to skill number two, this includes a very nice stun as well as it gives you a very short iframe. Moving on to skill number three, this is the quantum portal, which is a physical skill. This skill is, you know, also giving her a guard for three seconds, uh, an immunity for three seconds. Moving on to skill number four, this skill is the Big Bang, which is an energy skill, pure energy skill. And this skill is also an iframe with high damage. Moving on to skill number five, which is the definitely best skill, which is Pouring Light. This is also a physical skill. And in this skill, it has a very good iframe as well as when I had a proc on her, I used to try to go and proc her on this skill. Now, let me tell you the rotation I definitely try to use whenever I am having a good skill cooldown. I try to use the skill number 3, skill number 5, and then skill number 4 for max out skill uh, for max out skill cooldown but since i do not have a max out skill cooldown the skill rotation i prefer and it's very very flexible it is skill number three then i move on to skill number five this gives her an invincibility for five seconds and then i move on to skill number two which gives um, a stun and then on to skill number one and then finally skill number four till the time everything is open Okay, guys, now it's time to, you know, I've talked a lot. I know I talk a lot. You, you know, some people have been complaining in the comment section. But now it's time to move over and watch a few clips of her battling against Infinity Thanos. Guys, she literally, like, slices the guy up. Amazing. Even at tier 1. That's, that's super cool. And along with that, I've also recorded Shadowland and other game modes for you guys just to see how she is. So let's get on with the clips. Now, one thing, guys, that I did not tell you about is the obelisk that I am using on Quasar. The obelisk that I first equipped on her was the best decision I had taken. And after that, I have proven to be foolish as hell replacing that obelisk. The first obelisk that I put on her was the Invincibility Obelisk, which has by far proven to be the best obelisk. I have made several replacements to her obelisk to find the one that suits her the best. 
Now, you might be thinking, why when she already has a good invincibility? It's only to just survive, you know, better on the play field without having to, you know, make sure that you've got a gold skill cooldown or not. So the best thing I would suggest you is to go with an ignore defense obelisk. If your ignore defense is low, she needs good ignore defense at any cost. And the second thing that you will be needing on her is the invincibility obelisk part. Uh, I do not think think that um, you know putting a proc on her is very much necessary so try to go for the invincibility obelisk now i let you go on and watch the video if you didn't know then our fam is on discord so if you want to join us on discord the link is in the i button or in the comment section we've pinned it over go join the asgard family and meet us for a one-on-one -on -one chat in the discord group and now i'll shut up speaking so you guys can enjoy make sure to leave us a like i like your thumbs up and also if you are subscribing to our channel please mention that down below we will be mentioning it in our videos from now on also comment down below whether you have quasar or not and what are your views about her and definitely we'd like to know which video would you like to see next? This is of utmost importance to us guys to know what you guys really want to see. So I'll shut up now. You guys can enjoy. Bye-bye. Love you guys.